Hi guys, it is a lovely evening here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this side. It is a Monday evening twilight. That would be Monday, June 6, 2022. And, uh, okay guys, several of my alert listeners uh, have sent me a link to this newest uh, unadulterated horse shit from the good old New York Times from this dude named uh, Ezra Klein. I, is it Ezra Klein? Is that this dude's last name? I'm not even sure Ezra is a guy. I, I think Ezra is a guy. Ezra Klein, previously he was founder, editor-in-chief, and editor-at-large of Vox, and the author of Why We Are Polarized, before that, he was a columnist and editor at the Washington Post. So anyway, somehow he has found himself over at the New York Times where he penned this long article yesterday. I don't even know uh, <clears throat> what was the title. I am, uh, I am uh, paywalled out. Your kids are not doomed. Yes, your kids are not doomed, is this, this long involved piece from Ezra Klein talking about, you know, people with brains uh, choosing not to have children uh, for various reasons. And of course, what the the thing that he's picking up on is particularly is uh, talking about you know people not having children because of climate change uh, and you know saying that this is ridiculous not that I love what he does is he uh, is he interviews all of these clueless uh, moron climatologist choosing to have kids uh, of course Zeke Housefather and Kate Marvel and all of these clueless morons uh, who know better than anybody else uh, on this planet uh, what their future has in store uh, but it's the usual crap uh, I, I you know I was gonna sit here spend 45 minutes um, you know no reading this uh, okay well I'm gonna read uh, I'm gonna read one paragraph and then uh, be done with it I worry writing this that this will be taken as a dismissal of the suffering climate change will unleash. It is not an appreciation of how bad our past was should deepen our fury at how recklessly our future is being treated. We have done so much to build a seawall between us and the pitiless world we have done so much to make the future better than the past. To give back any portion of those gains or even to prevent the progress we could otherwise see is worse than a tragedy. It is a crime. Yes, but that and not apocalypse is the most likely path we're on. Okay, so crimes against the planet is fine. It's not an apocalypse. It's just crimes against the planet. Um, all right. One more, uh, one, one more uh, piece of... Uh, th this is his reasoning to convince people to keep breeding like flies in the face of climate change. <clears throat> no one should mistake two and a half 
C degrees of warming or even two degrees for success, we will have caused incalculable damage to ecosystems. We will have worsened droughts, floods, famines, heat waves. We will have bleached coral reefs, acidified the ocean, driven countless animal species to extinction. Millions, maybe tens of millions of people will die from increased heat and more will be killed by the indirect consequences of climate change. Far more yet will be forced to flee their homes or live lives of deep poverty or suffering. We will have stolen the full possibility of their flourishing from them. There you go. That sounds like excellent reasons to, uh, that, that's, there's a whole list of reasons right there. Thank you, Ezra Klein, for convincing uh, all these clueless morons to have children for all those reasons. They all sound like good reasons. But anyway, guys, this goes on and on and on and on. You can go to the New York Times. You can read this crap uh, in the New York Times. But I am going to move on from Ezra Klein and just uh, start sounding a little bit like my buddy Book Hermit. Okay, so I am not quite the uh the climate uh change to die or that book hermit is but i am solidly with book hermit on the fact that climate change uh i i think book hermit would agree with this the the, the statement is pretty much irrelevant to the conversation of why not to have children Okay, it, it, it is one reason of a hundred million reasons. I really like the comment from, uh, I think it was Supremo, uh, his comment on that, uh, that piece of satire I read about uh, school shootings, uh, about arming children, and he mentioned, no, the best way to prevent school shootings, the only way, to completely prevent school shootings is to not have children. If you don't have children, you don't have schools, and you don't have school shootings. And as I replied to him, that uh, that would be not having children is the answer to every problem on the planet from school shootings to climate change. Okay? climate change is there there are nine planetary boundaries climate change is one of the nine how many times do i have to say this and this is what ezra klein and 99.9 .9 of clueless morons do not understand is the difference between a carbon footprint and an ecological footprint. Climate change is one, the carbon footprint is one small subset of the ecological footprint. If climate change did not exist on the planet, if it made no difference, it would make no difference. Humans would kill the planet with no help from climate change. This has this is nothing to do with climate change not to have children. Well, it's one of nine reasons. Uh, there are eight other planetary boundaries that are that are going to kill as he and you notice he the reason I read that one paragraph it was what was it just like an aside buried deep in a sentence between two commas where he blithely mentions that humans are going to kill millions of species of our fellow earthlings we are directly responsible for the obliteration off of this planet of millions of our fellow earthlings climate change or no climate change it is habitat destruction 
Okay, I was out, uh, as I mentioned, you know, doing this, getting ready for the apocalyptic flood on Saturday and, and getting ready for that. What did I do? Uh, just like my buddy Alistair and I did a couple of years ago, uh, we were cutting down a tree and I don't know if it was a nest of baby birds or eggs, this goldfinch couple had a nest in the damn tree. We cut down the tree to make way for the bulldozer uh, to keep my house from flooding, and we killed a family of goldfinches. Okay, take that, multiply that times eight billion clueless morons. Ezra Klein does not understand the concept of the ecological footprint. You know, uh, as that, I think it was my interview with Philip Fernside, I'm pretty sure it was Philip, uh, talking about the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. And he was stating, for the record, the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, which is essentially the single biggest uh, habitat destruction in the history of humanity, is a bigger threat to life on this planet than climate change. How many times do you hear, do not have children because of the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative? It is habitat destruction, okay? From cutting down a goldfinch nest to paving the planet. Uh, the, the, I, I'm just sick and tired of this. It, it, it is a simple equation. Uh, all, all of and, and, and you know, and I'm not knocking the fact that climate change is getting some well-deserved attention, but uh, on, on, on some ways. Uh, it, it gives the other eight planetary boundaries more license than ever to keep falling because all, we've, all we look at is, is uh, carbon emissions. Uh, you know, look, good God, you cannot have... Uh, it, you, it, it, all of this shit makes no... Every single thing makes no difference uh, uh, all of this crap they're talking about, all of this hopium on a planet of 8 billion people ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. I don't give a damn what your little solution is. Uh, Supremo is right. It is don't have children solves every single problem from school shootings to climate change. There would be no anthropogenic climate change if there were no anthropods. Is that what we are? Are we anthropods? Uh, but you know what I'm saying. There would be no human-induced anything on this planet without humans. This is, this is real rocket science. If the problem is humans, the solution is to get rid of humans. There's two ways to get rid of humans. That is to kill them off or to not have any humans. Okay? There you go. Thank you, Supremo, for pointing this out. The cure for everything. Don't have kids. Period. There you go. This is real rocket science. Ezra Klein and anyone uh, listening to one word of this crap, Zeke House Father, uh, Kate Marvel, sounds like some cartoon character, uh, all the rest of you climatologists uh, having children. Uh, good Lord. Anyway, I think we've heard this broken record before. Uh, I guess I... Uh, I don't know if I'm even going to waste my time putting the link uh, to that garbage. I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to have anything to do with giving Ezra Klein uh, a, a, a mouthpiece on this channel. Anyway, I need to wrap this up because it is time for a human-induced margarita. I'm going to take my humanity and I'm going to induce a margarita and feed my little dog.
my human induced domestic canine here. This is a human invention, okay? A human induced, this is what we have done to the once proud wolf. Yes. This little beggar, this whiny little beggar. Uh, what do you think? 10,000 years ago, Sancho, you were a proud wolf and then you hooked up with humans and now you're a little midget. You're a little genetically defective little midget. Uh, you, you got no upper teeth. Your testicles were undescended. Uh, you've got a collapsed trachea and it's all because of humans. If humans did not exist, you would be a proud wolf instead of a whatever you are. My little fur baby who's got to eat. Uh, get out there and, uh, and do some margarita while you still can. Bye, guys.